Hello everyone and welcome to our ninth video. In the future, I want to find more ways of sharing your work, connecting your thinking, joining everyone together. You're an amazing, amazing group of children and it's been so good seeing all your work. Tomorrow, in tomorrow's video, the main focus is actually going to be just sharing loads of your different tasks and us working through some of them. For today, what we're going to do is we're going to build on those shape puzzles and see how that understanding can be used to answer all kinds of different maths questions. Let's get started. Well, some of the puzzles I've been sent through over the last few days have been amazing. I've been scratching my head, but I've been really, really enjoying them. This one, I think it would take me the whole video to go through it. We won't do that now, but thank you so much. They have been absolutely amazing. Now, we're going to see if we can connect something we've done before to these shape puzzles, see how they're similar. Um, we've looked at this question before, 10 children, 4 more girls than boys. How many girls? How many boys? Uh, we said more girls than boys, 4 more girls than boys. In total, that's 6 more children shared equally. 3 more girls, 3 more boys. So in total, 7 girls, 3 boys. Hmm, well, that question is very similar to this shape puzzle. So the blue plus the yellow equals 10. And the difference between the blue and the yellow equals four. Um, so to work that out, I guess we'd do a very, fairly similar thing. Let's have a look. So the difference between the blue and the yellow is four. And we know that in total, the whole thing has got to equal 10. Um, so it's four, and then in total, another three and three. Um, can you see that this question and this question, the maths in them that we end up doing is actually the same? Okay, well, Oh, and, and there we go, and then the blue circles are worth seven, and the yellow squares are worth three. I wonder how we can use that to answer either of these two questions. So, what I want you to do is pause the video and see if you can work out, choose either the question on the left or the question on the right, and see if you can work out the value of the shapes. Have a go. Okay, right, well let's have a little look. And before we do, what I want you to see if you can do is spot the mistakes, okay? So these are kind of common mistakes that might be made here. I wonder if you can see what they are. Should we have a little look? Well, two plus eight is 10, that's right. Two subtract eight, oh no, that would be a negative number um, because I can't have two and subtract more than two and be left with a positive whole number. So these two are actually the wrong way round. Here, well, 80 plus 40 equals 120, but 80 subtract 40, the difference between 80 and 40, well, of course, it's 40, not 20. There, there we go. And there's our solutions. Check how you, uh, how you got on. Well, there's been some absolutely stunning work with those shape puzzles. What we're gonna do is see if we can combine that understanding with different kinds of questions, but actually see how the maths in them is actually very similar. So we're gonna have a look at questions that involve comparing prices and build on some of the things that we've learned already. So this is an example we've seen before. Um, so we've got a circle plus a rectangle equals 14, a circle plus three rectangles equals 20. And we said, well, the difference is two more rectangles. And in total, this is six more. So each rectangle must be worth three, and that applies to all the rectangles. And so the circles, well, they must be worth 11. Now, the extend task you had um, one day involved this, and I asked, how are, they, how are these questions similar? They look completely different. An apple and an orange costs 40p. An apple and three oranges cost 90p. How much does an apple cost? Um, now, I had this picture through here, which I thought was a really interesting one. And I love this, this little box here to show that these are the parts that are the same, the, the kind of the apple and the orange. But then we have the different prices and the different amount of food. Um, pause the video. H how can this picture help? Um, what will the value of the oranges, oranges be? What, what about the apples? Okay, so I'll, I'll see if I can uncover some of those prices. So we've got this difference of 40p and 90p is 50p for these extra two oranges. So of course, each orange will be another 20, will be 25p. Um, and that applies to all the oranges. So if we look at this top line, what plus 25p equals 40p? Well, 15p for the apple. 
Now, here's a question, and we're going to see if we can unpick that using some of these skills, some of these this knowledge that we've already built. Um, Tim buys three pencils and a rubber. He pays 90p. Cam buys four pencils. He pays one pound. How much does a rubber cost? Hmm. Well, I guess my first thing is I'll be thinking, what picture can I draw that will help me to see the maths in the problem? Can I make it similar to one of the shape puzzles? Or, or how else can I show it? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a little picture. I don't know if it'll be in the same as yours, but hopefully it'll it'll build your your thinking. So here I, I could use shapes. So the, these shapes represent my three pencils and and my rubber is ninety p, and then my four pencils equal a pound. Um, so well, let's have a think. Well, I can work out because these are all the same shape. I can work out the value of the of the pencils. Um, they must be twenty five p. Um, and so then, well, to work out the value of the rubber, well, three lots of 25p is 75p. To make 90p, must be 15p more. And so, my friends, finding today's task. icmaths.com, home learning. You might be on all home lessons, or maybe it's home learning year three and four. Wherever the video is stored, whichever one you're looking at, underneath, if you just click on the link, it brings up the task. And this is what today's looks like. And this time, not a shape puzzle in sight, but lots of different worded questions. Either have a go at task A or task B or task C. I've tried to have lots of different options of the level of challenge that will be just right for you. The maths in all the tasks is very similar though. Um, so have a go at those tasks. And again, as ever for the extension, design your own questions where you need two clues to work out the answer. Any that get sent through might get used in future videos when we're recapping on this skill. As normal, the answers are underneath at the bottom. Um, I am really, really super gonna look forward to seeing you tomorrow where we're gonna have a final video of the week where we're gonna share loads of your different tasks and, uh, and see if we can extend your thinking using those. Thank you everyone, see you again tomorrow.